take this time to interview a very special friend. This is Fred. Um, Fred, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm Fred Bonyoni. Uh, I'm the pastor of two churches, uh, Umoja Worship Center and Zoya Jehovah Shalom Worship Center. And also I have two schools in this, um, in this region. One is Michael School, where we are at, uh, at the moment. Let's take a look at Michael's School real quick. Um, we can see that it's uh, kind of aluminum um, base with some uh, wood framing. Um, houses about 112 students here. We can see some of these beautiful children with us. And what is it like to um, teach these children, Fred? Tell us about your calling. My calling, uh, since I started to minister, my calling is to serve the young children from this community. When I started to preach, uh, when I was going to, uh, uh, with the station in my community, I find that some of our kids, they don't go to school because of the, the, the status of our uh, uh, community. Our people live in poverty, in one dollar, uh, they live in a dollar per day. So, yeah, so they can't afford to take the kids to school. So we started this school purposely to help our communities to have education so that in the future they can help the community. Um, it's a great blessing to know that there are people like you in the world that care so much about the children that you will make way for them to be educated. Education is everything in this country. Um, God wants us to help these babies to know him and to be educated and literate and understand uh, the world and to be like world changers in their own lives. Hey, say hi, guys. Say hello. hello. Jumbo. Um, Fred also shared that the younger children have school right outside under the tree. There's no structure for them to be educated. And you know, we have rains here in uh, this area. Sometimes that must not be very convenient for teaching. Yeah, this is the season of raining yes. in, uh, in our country. So uh, that status in our young people, it will uh, affect them with uh, some sickness. So we request that we God provide we can do the structure for them. So our prayer uh, as an organization and as believers is to um, be able to bless people like Fred, um, pray to God, and ask, as everything we have seen and heard in our trip to Kenya, that he would uh, hear our prayers together and make a way for these children to have a st structured school, a building for them to be able to come, to also have a lunch program, a feeding program where they can eat here. Yes, we have a feeding program here. We, uh, we, we, we give them uh, one meal per day. Okay. This is a mix of maize and beans. Maize and beans? Maize and beans, one meal per day. Mm -hmm. But if God provides also, we can, we can give them porridge. Okay, so that is a prayer. And um, so I just wanted to share uh, and introduce Fred to all of our friends back home in the United States. And Fred, we really love you. And we, we bless you. the Lord for you and your service. Amen. Thank you for Thank coming, you. Mom. Okay, let's Amen. look around a little bit. Okay.